Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And we are going to be playing with the Softlex kit, Dia de los Muertos. And it is a really fun um, collection of beads, I have to say. I really love the tradition of Dia de los Muertos. I think remembering remembering family and friends by honoring them and you know telling people about them in such a way i think keeps their memory alive and i really just love the whole idea of it so i was really excited to get this kit because i do love that whole idea and also let's not forget the really cool colors the bright colors the the designs the sugar skulls that we see uh so i really was excited to get this and i'm excited to take a look with you and i haven't really decided what i want to make yet but i thought i have some ideas maybe some earrings uh but we right now i just want to kind of look at it and talk about some things that i really love about this kit one of the things i think is pretty cool is we get some patches um i'm sure you can beat around them i'm sure there's going to be or there may be some tutorials on what to do beading around here and making an earring would be really neat or a focal for a necklace maybe you could glue it on something as well so uh i'm not sure what to do with this yet but i i'm gonna look for some tutorials see if i can come up with something and then look at the colors aren't they awesome i really love them so the jesse james beads mix and the strand this was the strand and it's got this beautiful boho bead i love this bead isn't that gorgeous you know, they design these themselves and they dye them themselves. Um, and I love the collaboration between Softlex and Jesse James Beads. Look at these beautiful rows. I believe they're resin. The holes right there. Love those. And the colors really pop. You've got that beautiful turquoise, kind of green color, orange, yellow, black, some black sugar skulls. And some little tiny howlite sugar skulls. I like these beads too. Um, you can embellish them by, pardon me, I'm dropping things. <laughs> what would a video be without me dropping things, right? But where the little eye sockets are, you can glue rhinestones in there. And that gives it a fun look. Or some little... Sometimes you can find some little metal flowers. Also very cute idea. And of course, I love all the crystals with that. We have some ceramic beads, white ones. They're beautiful. And I love this lime green. That just kind of looks great with all the colors. Got some nice black findings. I love these rhinestone rondelles they are very blingy and then you have these really pretty lacy looking bead caps so that's fun and of course i love the tassels as well and you get some fuchsia tassels so i like that and of some uh nice gunmetal looking crimp beads and gold kind of star spacer beads and then look at these sugar skull um i think these are check glass aren't those fun very cute and you get a lot of them and then it said on the box that these you get random colors of these check flowers i absolutely love these ceramic beads those are super fun. And then look at this dichroic glass. 
This is a Paula Radke dichroic glass. If you love dichroic glass, you know who Paula Radke is. And then, of course, findings, a lobster claw and some earrings. And then we get to some really fun ceramic beads. So pumpkins. Love those. And then look at these ceramic skulls. Let me see if I can turn them the right way. Are those cute? A black one. And look at this yellow one. Whoops. Those are fun. Some very pretty hearts with a flower stamped in the middle. And more sugar skulls look to look like turquoise. I believe that's dyed howlite, though. Lots and lots of fun crystal bicones in a myriad of colors. All very Halloween-y with the orange and the black and you know as of late people are adding purple and of course the black and then this other part of the mix that we got from jesse james beads has more of the fun green some orange some yellow white black some rhinestone beads little pave beads and then what else was really cool is we got some uh, beading needles. So I'm assuming also we got Miyuki uh, beading thread that you could do something with these patches. So I'm going to have to take a look, but I love, I love these beading needles and I'm glad to get some more. And I've not ever worked with Miyuki beading thread, but I'm going to have to give it a try. I usually use um, I've learned seed beading and things like that with, uh, what's that stuff called? Fireline. But I'll have to try this. It looks very silky and probably passes through the beads pretty easily. And it looks like it's pretty thin, so you could probably do multiple passes for all you seed beaters out there. And then, of course, last but Certainly, not least, I know I say that in every video, but I have to say this is my favorite wire. It is black, so that's perfect for this palette. The black onyx color by Softlex, medium, uh, and you get 10 feet. So plenty to work with. Um, and I love that you get a spool of the 10 feet of their wire in every kit. So I'm just going to add maybe a few things from my stash that I thought might be kind of cute with some of this. Um, I have these bone beads that I got from, gosh, I don't remember where I got these from, but they're, they're kind of skeleton-like. I thought they might be kind of cute with the sugar skulls to make like a skeleton type look. And then I have some really fun green that match kind of this green seed beads that maybe we could use. I have some ear wire, ear, ear wires. Listen to me. <laughs> some head pins in gold. And then I've got various wire. I've got some of the Softflex craft wire in 18 gauge, depending on what I do. I have some 26 gauge. And some 22 gauge and some black wire as well. And black jump rings. So I, like I said, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And also, I think I bought these off of Etsy. I'll have to find the shop. Uh, I have these black rings that might be fun to use. Maybe in a necklace as a focal. So if I do a necklace, then we'll probably use one of these. But I'm just trying to decide now what I think I might want to do. I think, I think I'd like to do some earrings. Since we have some ear wires that are in this perfect color to kind of coordinate, 
Uh, I do want to use these because they're too fun. I am not going to use the ceramic tonight. Uh, I might use these as well. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm going to keep this mix handy. I'm gonna, uh, I love these fire polish too. I didn't mention those. But these are really pretty as well. I do want to use maybe some of these. I don't know. I'm going to probably pick and choose some things. Uh, love these, but we're not going to use them today. And this is just another little, there were so many of these rondelles. I had to use two, two little, <laughs> uh, trays. I love these. I want to play with these. Uh, do I want to put, no, I'm thinking necklace. Let's do the turquoise, uh, skulls and i'm definitely saving these hearts for a necklace whoops they're super heavy so i don't really want to do an earring with those gotta have tough earlobes for some of the some of the heavy stuff and gosh i love these but i think i think a necklace you know along with these so let's put those there here's our ear wires um yeah let's use gosh let's use some of these i want to find two that look similar i know they're not going to be exact but some are more narrow than others that one's pretty narrow i don't know decisions decisions Okay, well, I like that, and I like that. Okay. Yeah, these are fun. I love to use graphic elements in a lot of designs, and this is the perfect time to do that. So I was thinking like a little skeleton body and some sugar skulls, so he's got like a little skeleton frame and maybe we'll put a little crown on him what do you think so that's fun uh we need to put something in the crown to make it pop i think yeah these would be cool it's looking like a fun I think I want to do some green or some yellow. Let's see. Maybe some yellow. I want to use some, you know, lots of color. I want them to be colorful. What about these guys on the end? That's quite cute. Or I'm going to put those to the side for just a second. Ooh, we have some Hishi beads here. Those would be fun. Oh, and also in that strand from Jesse James beads are these teeny tiny they're little teeny hearts. See that? That would be cute right at the top, wouldn't it? I think we're going to make a long pair of earrings. How about tassels on the bottom? Let's see. I do want some green, though. But I think maybe we'll do a little pop of green way at the top with that little heart bead. Very cute. Cute. I'm trying to think if I want to add anything else. Maybe 
he needs a necklace of his own. Maybe we'll do a little flowered spacer bead. Yeah. So we're going to make some shoulder duster earrings. <laughs> uh, and then we'll put these little guys in between. All right, I think we got a plan. So I'm, I'm going to have to use wire for this. I think I'm going to use this black wire that I have. It is 20 gauge. So I'm just going to pull some of this. And boy, that end is kind of crazy, isn't it? No crazy ends allowed. There's a time and place for crazy ends, and this isn't it. Although, something very whimsical with wire and some of these sugar skulls would be super cute and very fun to look at. You know. This is the time to get, do some out, out of the box stuff, right? All right. Gosh, I love these colors. Okay. So, so I don't, things don't go flying. I'm just going to move a few things over. We're going to put a pin on these, but I think maybe in another video, we'll do a necklace with those. And of course we'll use our Softflex wire. Maybe I'll do a two-parter on this video. That's what I'm going to do. We'll do a two-parter. So this is part one, and then I'm going to do a necklace, and that'll be part two. How about that? Sound like a plan? Okay. So we have our wire. So I'm going to go from the bottom up, and I'm going to... What is all over my bead mat? <laughs> I used a lint roller before I even started filming, and I still have stuff on it. Oh, well. So I'm just going to... Boy, this... You know, and depending on the manufacturer, wire can be really stiff or really loose. This is pretty loose. Um, you know, I do want something sturdier. Uh... I like the idea of this, but it's not, yeah, it doesn't feel very sturdy. I wonder if, let me just try the 18, I think this might be too big for my seed bead. This is 18 gauge. I think I need, yeah, I, let's see what else I got. I got some wire right here. Rose gold. Don't think I want rose gold. <laughs> now, this 20 gauge feels a lot stiffer. This is what I mean by different manufacturers. Um, gosh, that other one feels very flimsy. I think colored wire sometimes when you're buying it can be a little bit dicey because you don't really know until you get it. I ordered that online and I like it, but I, I feel like for earrings, it needs to be a little sturdier. So we're not going to use it tonight, but maybe I'll use it in something else because I do like having a uh, black wire. All right. So let's start this over again. So this is the 20 gauge in gold and I have soft flex in gold 20 gauge somewhere, but I don't know where. So this was, this was handy. All right. So we're just going to make our loop. I think I'm going to use my bail making pliers so that they're all the same size. The loops, I mean, you can also mark your, round nose pliers so that you're using the same, you know, if you want them to match, which for earrings, I do think is important. Um, just so you get a, a mirror effect. 
And because I know myself and sometimes I can, I can make some loops that really don't match. <laughs> so I'm just going to wrap this a few times. So here is our tassel. And I like to nip mine in the back. So I just want to make sure that's wrapped around there. Alrighty. Hope you guys are doing well on a Saturday. Boy, did things get cooler here. I was so happy. I think it was Thursday morning or Friday morning. Can't remember which day now. 48 degrees. What a amazing relief that was. And of course, my mom and I have battled with the thermostat because I like things cold and she doesn't. But She's my mama, so she wins. So we did have to turn the heat on for her, but I kept my fan on in my bedroom. <laughs> it's just what you got to do. But the high that day was in the 70s, so it was glorious. Glorious. All right, so let's add our wonderful bone bead. Really cute. And our little hishi bead. Oops. Come back here. Then we're going to do our. That's cute. Little, little necklace for our sugar skull guy. Gosh, you know what I didn't think about? How long I need to make this wire. We're about to find out. There's his crown. You know, I think I want these to be, be segmented, if you know what I mean. I think I want more movement than just the tassel. So I'm going to do a wire wrap loop here so that I can add the head. It'll be kind of moving, which would be kind of fun. You're kind of like the neck. That makes sense. So again, with the wire wrapping, all right, nip, you guys know we're going to blink and Thanksgiving's going to be here. I just want to give a shout out to any of my Florida viewers. I hope you're okay. I've been following oh, the terrible things that are happening to our Florida friends. And I say a lot of prayers. I hope y'all are safe. Okay, uh, let's see. And I think I'll make the second one off camera and we'll maybe we'll make another pair of earrings. I kind of feel like earring. I'm in earring mode today. I love earrings because they don't really take that long to make. You can make a whole bunch of them and you can try different ideas really quickly and different color combos and all that stuff. All right. Yeah, I just oohed and odd when I opened this kit. I was so excited. Of 
course, you get a little hint when you order them, you know. Uh, now, if you've never ordered a mystery kit from uh, Softflix, I highly encourage, highly encourage you to do so. Also, just want to mention that um, Hobby Lobby has decided not to carry their wire. And I think that is an absolute travesty. And they had reached out, Softflex did, to see if we would all write letters to Hobby Lobby, which I certainly plan on doing. If that's something that you want to do, I just wanted to mention it. Uh, because, I mean, this is the best wire you can get. And why Hobby Lobby wouldn't carry the best wire is beyond me. Best beating wire there is. They're making a big mistake. Uh, so, I shall be writing some letters. And I believe uh, Suffolk sent out a notice. Might have been through email. Um, on uh, who to send it to. Oh, you know what? I don't need to do that yet. <laughs> I got it on my soapbox. You see how, how that happens? Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just thought I'd make a loop. All right. Well, if you accidentally do that, you can straighten your wire. You just got to be really careful. Now, this is 20 gauge. You just want to be really gentle with it. Um, if it's a smaller gauge, you run the risk of it snapping. You may have to start over. But, And I made the decision to put this spacer on the top since we're doing a segmented. This is super cute. I know I keep saying super cute. Sorry. It is fantastically gorgeous. How about that? <laughs> All right, and there's this little crown, and I got to put a little heart. This these little hearts are really adorable. Little pop of green. Now I know long earrings aren't for everyone, but honestly, when you have this much fun going on in an earring. Who cares? <laughs> you can shorten this. You don't need to make it like this. You could do it all on one, you know, in one piece so it would be shorter. But I rather like the movement that you, we know with the segments. Okay. Let's put this. together. Again, I'm doing a wire wrapped loop. Things are going to spin around too, if you don't uh, mind that. It's just going to spin, but I don't know. That's part of the fun. As you're wearing it, it'll spin around. People, It'll catch people's eye. This would be a great gift for somebody if you know they love Halloween. This would be a really fun gift. So I've been super busy planning a few things. I have I have decided to make some changes to the channel. All good. Uh, but I'm doing a lot of research on that. Probably won't see any changes till after the first of the year. Um, some other types of videos I want to do regarding jewelry making and also just an upgrade to the look of the channel. Not necessarily while I'm filming, but the beginning and all that. So stay tuned for that. So here is a really fun Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos hearing.
with lots of color, lots of movement. And like I said, you could even glue some little rhinestones in these little eye sockets. I think that'd be really great to have like, you know, what's going on with my ear wire? <laughs> Hello? Wow. Okay. We almost had a mutiny. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, very cute. I will make the other one off camera. I do have another pair of ear wires, I believe. I do, I do, I do. Good. So we can make two pair. So let's do something a little different. Let me move this guy over. I don't want to lose all the little pieces. As I was setting up today for this video, you wouldn't believe the amount of beads I dropped. I don't know what is wrong with me. <laughs> uh, I probably have an entire bead store on the floor somewhere. And of course, both my dogs have to run over and sniff it like it's a treat, you know? They're like, oh, she dropped something. Can I eat it? <laughs> so I really like these heart, I mean hearts, flowers. So let's use some of those. And maybe we'll use our little Howlite little skulls. And let's do some orange. Do I have any more drops? Uh, I have some rondelles. Little stack would be cute. Let's see if we had any drops. Now we could do these little I love these. I'm thinking, you know what? I think I want to do something different. I love these. I want to use these. Really fun. Those are cute. And maybe because they're different colors, we'll do different colors. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's do some different colors of rondelles. Are these all the same size? I don't think they are. Oh, that's round. All right. Let's do an orange one here. Nope, here. And a purple one here. Yeah, we'll just play with the colors a little bit. Maybe a yellow bead. And a green bead. Are these the same size? Yeah. It's a little bit of an asymmetrical look, which I think is kind of cute. I do want some bling. Gosh. That's too much bling. <laughs> Mm, that's not big enough. See, it's a process of elimination. Always. Oh. Wait a minute. So that's fun. I sure wish I had another color this size. I'll probably do in my stash, but. I 
yeah that's not big enough or nope ooh I kind of like that if I have orange here maybe I should do where's that blue bead that's not going to work. See the rabbit hole you can go down? <laughs> White. I don't know. I wish. Hmm. Maybe we should do green. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. I like it. Let's use our 20 gauge again. I do recommend getting getting these kits though. I really I love them. And if you're new to beading, I think it's a really good value because you get in your kit, you get findings, you get crimp beads, you get stringing wire, you get they always have tutorials on their um the website there's links to and they have a youtube channel this is soft Flex i'm talking about and um you know it's it's really a lot of fun so it, you know even if and if you don't use the whole kit or or whatnot it's still a really good like stash builder as well okay let's get cracking on some more fun earrings so again, I'm going to use my bail making to make my loops. That way they're even. Put our little tassel. They're just so cute, these little fluffy tassels. I call them fairy skirts. <laughs> I just think of like the fairies in Cinderella. They have those petal shaped skirts. If you know, you know. Alrighty. I just want to get that edge squished. Smish. All right. Yellow rondelle. These are really fun. I don't know that I've seen these before, these flower beads, but I like them. And I think this time, if I can find the hole. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Those are cute. <laughs> oh, man. You know, that's kind of too much bling, I think. I am going to go with just the green, I think. Yeah. You got enough bling with this rondelle, I believe. These are really pretty. I love the painting on these. Sometimes I wonder where they source some of these things because I would like to get more. They may, I have to check their website. Sometimes they have extras that you can uh, get. Oops. Want the smaller one. Huh. 
Oh boy. I might not have enough wire. Just enough. And that's another reason, too, to, if you cut your wire the same length and you make your loops the same, you, you now that I know that amount will work. Sometimes if you um, have loops that are different sizes, you'll use up more wire on one. So it's another good argument for making your loops the same. Don't want to crush my crystal, but I do want to get that. There we go. Wow. Those are fun. Grab the ear wire. You could use gold ear wires too. I just, these came with the kit, so that's why I'm using them. But I, I like that they pick up a lot of the darker, you know, the black tones in everything. So here is another fun sugar skull earring. And I'm going to make its mate off camera. And I will come back and I'll have both sets made. And we can take a look at them. Hey, everyone. So here are the finished earrings. I think they turned out quite fun. I love the colors. I love all the bright, fun colors. And um, I like the graphic elements with these really bright colors. And I love these sugar skulls. <laughs> They're very whimsical, the little painted ones. And I am debating whether to put something in the eye sockets of these. If I do that, I'll let you know and I'll show it to you. Uh, so this is video one for the Dia de los Muertos kit from Softflex. And I think video two will be a necklace so that we can continue enjoying all of these fun colors and shapes and patterns and all the lovely gorgeousness that are these beads. Hope you have a wonderful night and stay tuned for some more videos coming this week. I've got all kinds coming and uh, appreciate your patience over the last few months. My videos have been pretty erratic <laughs> as far as timing. Just a lot going on, but we're getting there. And uh, as always, I appreciate you. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'd love to have you. Also, if you are subscribed, just double check and make sure you're still subscribed. Um, I hear from YouTubers all the time that people are getting unsubscribed. Not that they're doing it, but there's something weird with YouTube. Anyway, uh, just check for me and resubscribe if somehow you got unsubscribed. Because I always have to resubscribe to channels that I like. It's crazy. But that's the world we live in. What can I say? So with that, I'm going to say good evening. I hope that you're safe and take care of your sweet selves and your families. And I'll see you on the next video.